Obviously, I'm not in a black jacket, so let's just ignore that. But we got these cute totes. Yes. Okay, anyways, they, they're really cute. They're free. And then they also have like free black drinks. So we're trying to figure out what the taste of this is. Because um, they just poured like a black shot on top of milk. She thinks it tastes like almond. Yeah, but I could be so wrong. I think it tastes a bit like almond, but I don't think it's almond syrup. Right. That would be so weird. Yeah. What do you think? I feel like there's a nutty taste. Sorry, I'm just looking at my teeth now. I think it's a nutty type of flavor but not quite almond. This is fun. And we're gonna grab Korean food I think after this. There's also like a boat cruise thing that our school's hosting around 2.45 so we're gonna head there after. left the Musée d'Orsay, yeah. um, which is where the Louis Vuitton show is happening, I think like oh, soon. Yeah, Basically what happened is we headed out from our res. She bumped into her friend in the subway station who was yeah. also going to the show. Yeah. We all went to outside of the museum where we Together. wanted to, yeah, we wanted to stalk like models, yeah. celebrities, etc. Yeah. And we ended up seeing like a few really, really cool outfits, yeah. which is so surreal because like I feel like both of us have been just seeing this stuff online for like years. Years. Since, like, middle school or some yeah. shit. Like just seeing the outside of one was already crazy. And the ambiance and yeah. the environment and the photographers. So many paparazzi. Yeah. Um, got a little glimpse of Jaden Smith, which is so cool. And we were in the presence of Zendaya. Yeah, oh my so, god. Yeah, unfortunately we didn't see her, but I also saw Ami. Wait, did you see Ami? Yes, we both saw Ami's song. Yeah, and Jacopo. Ah, my favorite IG couple. <laughs> okay, not my favorite, but... <laughs> oh, who's your favorite? They were cute. I like definitely saved a lot of their couple videos because I'm like, that's my goal. Oh, okay, cute, cute, cute. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh my gosh. I don't know if you can see the crowd in the back. 
but it's huge like i was not expecting this i mean i don't know what i was expecting but now we're here and i just feel like i gotta step up my game like people are out here doing the most and i'm like in my little uniqlo puffer but it's okay i'm just a fan at the end of the day not part of the industry um so yeah we have school we have school at like 4 30 and it's three so we're trying to head um to the metro station soon so we can actually make class it's like the first day of actual class um but yeah we're gonna go to a cafe hopefully and then go to school because that's our reality is that we're yeah. business students and not models i know <laughs> There's baby burrata in the big burrata. to the Grand Palais right now to see the outside of the Chanel show today. I really hope there's gonna be cool outfits outside again and that I'm gonna make it on time just because today there's a strike in Paris. So the metro and the trains and stuff like that are kind of at reduced services if serving at all. Directly from the Grand Palais, I'm gonna head to a ramen shop so I can meet up with Vippy and Juliana because we have to work on our negotiations report, which is a 3,000 word report about a negotiation, either in real life or in a movie or something like that. But we're gonna grab lunch before that. I'm really excited actually. There's 8,000 reviews on Google for this shop. So I'm hoping it's gonna live up to my expectations. Time I think you're gonna walk out of my door I start to jump to the conclusion You don't love me no more Babe, give me something to work with Can you just reassure me? Hey guys, we've been sitting in Starbucks for a couple hours. We've been 
delegating roles for our 3,000 word essay and also um, we kind of transitioned into like vacation planning and I think we've decided on going to the south of France for the days that we're all um, free and it's gonna be like mid-April-ish so right now we're thinking of going to Nice, Monaco, Saint-Tropez and Cannes so hopefully it all works out because right now we're like yeah there's a bit of issues here and there as there always is but it's exciting! I'm excited! <laughs> <laughs> I've been wanting stick and fries for a long time. A long, long time. Long, long like time. the past two weeks. No, I'd say like the past week. But I feel Definitely like over a week. I've been thinking about it since before, like, sorry, just four. Oh. Since before, like, coming here. And I saw this place, I swear, on my laptop before coming here as well, but just forgot that it existed. I was like, why not? <laughs> we have a day off anyway. So we're going to steak and fries now and hopefully it's actually good and that there's no line because I don't want to be waiting. Hopefully we don't have any commuting mishaps because of the strike. But that too. When I worked at CNE, my boss was like, surf slower. <laughs> Okay, so I finished my steak. I had like maybe a quarter of my fries left, and I was so sad the experience was over. Then the lady comes. Puts this huge tongue of fries into my plate. We didn't ask for anything. I, like we were literally still eating. So like I don't know how she thought that I wanted more. So I was like, oh, like I guess it's like free refills on fries or something. Um, so I was like, okay, that's cute, like whatever. And then Julianne is like, oh, what did you say? I was like, oh, can we just be like extra steak instead of fries, please? Like, yeah. yeah. And then we manifested it into existence. And now she came back with like that much steak and fries. Yeah, like she was just saying it as a joke. Like Julianne, Julianne was just like mentioning it. Like that would have been ideal if we got extra steak. And then we, we do didn't, get extra we didn't steak. Think it was gonna happen. And the, the way she was scooping the sauce into my plate. I had a long day of school and it's still here. It's like 7 p.m. But we I only stayed and we soon came back because we signed up to get free pastries and receiving them. It's better be worth the three hour total commute. Oh Holy shit. True. You got groceries. You got two groceries. True. 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 What are the three things that you guys said they're gonna give us? A chocolate eclair, Paris breast, like ER, ESD, and was not your story. Me. Yeah. But they look like a lot more. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Mm-hmm. I don't know what it is, but it tastes so familiar. You know what I'm gonna say? The fragrance is very familiar. It's just, I think it's because it's purple that's throwing me off. Mm -hmm. But I just keep thinking taro, even though I know it's not taro. No. There's no way. But it's purple. It literally looks like taro. Like, it's like... That's true. It does look like taro, but there's no way. That's why it makes me confused. It makes me think it's more exotic than it actually mm -hmm. is. Even though it probably is just raspberries. <laughs> there's a bit of a crunch in it, which is really good. Mm -hmm. There's crunch. In the... In the... I got zero crunch. What? Can you not hear the crunch in my mouth? Mine was just soft. What the? That's a scam. Did you realize we graduate with a BA like a the Bachelor of Arts? Even, even though they... Sorry. Um, even though they, um, they advertise HBA as honors courses. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I've been doing that since first year. Because people were like, we're getting scammed. And we still continued. Yeah. Yeah, because we always bully you guys that you guys end up with a degree in arts. So. But why do they do that? Like, it genuinely doesn't make sense. Maybe it's like easier credits. I don't know. But like, yeah, so today I was like looking up like if I should get like a, a Western frame or an Ivy frame. Because I was like, oh mm -hmm. yeah, like if it already says like Ivy in big letters like on the diploma, um, then I can get a Western frame because they're having like some sort of deal or whatever. Mm -hmm. But and then I was looking at Instagram photos and you graduate with a BA <laughs> and the Richard School Ivy School of Business is like in tiny little fonts at the top. That is so top. And funny. I was literally like, I'm getting scammed here and all my friends So you like, have to get the Ivy thing now. Like the Ivy kind frame. of because the Richard Ivy, like 
lettering is so tiny right under the giant like western ontario like whatever whatever so like you have to get the green frame you have to and the green room is like 80 dollars whereas the western one is doing like a deal where it's like um 70 dollars and you get the big diploma frame and like a small 7x5 like photo frame as well for the package deal so literally we're just getting scammed over and over again and we keep falling for it it was really good too Mm. It's so good. What do I, I want to go back for more. Me too. Well, I don't know what to eat next. But... It's like a lemon tart. <laughs> There's like pistachios on it or something. Someone needs to inform me why the French are obsessed with pistachios. Because mm -hmm. fucking drink crunchy ass pistachios <laughs> inside the drink and you're just chewing in your coffee. Oh, from the vending machine? Yeah. You got the pistachio one once? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Interesting. Yeah, it looks like the inside. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Worth waiting seven hours here for. Three mm hours -hmm. of you. <laughs> okay, bye. I'm gonna eat these off camera. <laughs> Oh my god, <laughs> it's so funny. 